Okay, I'm here uh, looking for gold rings. I've been doing really well this year. Uh, working these lakeside parks. What I've been doing is I've been just working the edges, looking for gold rings that slip off people's fingers once, uh, once they've been swimming in the water. Um, not really looking for anything besides the gold today. Maybe we'll find an old coin or something, but if I find something good, I'll uh, turn the camera on. Okay, so before we get started on the hunt, let me just show you kind of what's happened so far this year. So our lake gets really low, and when it gets low, I like to go out and look for gold rings. This year, though, I found that one. Now, this ring is an 18 karat gold ring and then the diamonds are set in 14 karat white gold. And you can see there's like eight diamonds. Well, this is also, as you can see, a chunky gold ring, super heavy. And this is probably the most valuable thing that I've ever found. And when I got thinking about this ring, I was like, man, this is what I really need to be finding. You know, I mean, you can go out and you can get it, all the silver dimes you want. I mean, they're worth, what, like two bucks? And they're fun to get. But this is this is where the real value is. I mean, I don't know the exact value of this ring, but it's going to be in the thousands. So it would take a lot of silver dimes for me to equal this one ring. Well then, and I'm, a, I'm an AT Max user. Before that, an AT Pro user. And my buddy uses a White's MXT, and I can't remember what the other machine he uses, which is White's also. But he went right next to where this one was laying and he grabbed a little teeny gold ring and i couldn't believe it and i said well throw it on the ground let me see what the vdi is and i couldn't even hear it and what i realized is <laughs> i had discriminated out those lower numbers and so after that which are the really low foil numbers which on the garrett are like 40 I went out and I found this little baby one, and this was about a 40 on the AT Max. And so I instantly realized like, wow, how many of these gold rings am I really missing? This one was a six, this big one was a 65, and this little one right here was a 40. Then I started thinking, this is, this is what I really wanna do is I wanna find gold rings. So I've been dedicating myself this year to just going after the gold. In fact, sometimes I hear like a dime and I'm like, ah, waste my time. I'm gonna pull this pull tab signal next to it, which normally I would have been the opposite. I would be like, you know, maybe if it was a nickel sound, then I would grab it and you know, I'd find two or three gold rings a year. But just since Labor Day, take a look at this pile right here. So I went camping for a week over Labor Day and on the camping trip, I decided while fishing, when I get back, I'm just going for gold. And I was going out almost, felt like almost every night and getting a gold ring. And what I found is depending on the size, like these little ones usually show up like a 45. And then the bigger ones, will sh like this was a 61. Uh, if I remember right, this was like 56. And so I've just been, I've just been on a tear and I felt like if I dug about 50 to 100 pull tabs, then I would get a gold ring. Part of that, though, was as I was working areas next to the water, because we have a lot of parks right along the lake. And so, you know, the lake water makes their finger shrink, and then when they come out of the water, the ring falls off. So, the hunt you're about to see, honestly, I didn't show you very many pull tabs, because that's pretty boring. And I actually went into a slump after getting all this stuff night after night, um, I went into about a 700 pull tab slump. So you're gonna see just a couple of clips from several of my hunts. And then at the end of this, you're gonna see the gold ring I finally found. So enjoy the hunt. Okay, so I'm working this edge. Got a 78 signal. I can see already right here, it's some sort of ring. I haven't moved it yet not going to be gold because of the signal. 
Yeah, I can't tell if it's silver or not. Well, I can test it later. But see, we're next to the edge of the water, already finding jewelry. Okay, so I've been digging a zillion pull tabs. But this one right here, I feel like it could be a gold ring. It's a really loud foil sound. Those are usually small gold rings. So, yeah, no, I see the foil right there, 43. Darn it. Working the edge over here, trying to find a gold ring. And I found a buffalo nickel right on top. How crazy is that? Surface find. Okay, I'm getting a 90 signal. Probably silver. Let's check it out. <laughs> nope, battery. Okay, it's been some hard digging. Got a 1946 silver. Pulled probably 500 pull pad. I've got a gold ring in a week. So I just dug this ring. I have no idea what it's made out of. I haven't found a mark yet, but it's probably just some sort of costume jewelry, but. turns out to be something cool I'll let you know so what I'm doing is I've worked this whole edge here along the lake a few times and now I'm just coming back to see if there's any fresh drops here the surface earring 65 is what it came in or 63 actually looks like it's just bling but cool find Okay, I think I got gold. <laughs> uh, you see it in the plug? It's gotta be gold. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that's gold. Oh, it's so nice. Ooh. Yep, I see 14k on the inside. So I don't really show a lot of stuff because really I'm just digging pull tabs one after another. This is why, baby. Oh, that's chunky. I bet you that's six grams easy. Alright, see if we can get some more.